All right, guys, I just wanted to stop real quick and explain a couple of the steps here. There, there's a couple things that, that I just want to make sure you understand with this kit, how it works, and also warn you not to do what I did. I kind of learned a lesson <laughs> while I was doing this, and I kind of realized after I had done it and just kind of kept going. But first things first, the drill holes. So there's two drill bits. You're going to use a 2364 drill bit. Um, drill that one first, and that's going to be long enough to, to fit the threaded rod in. And then the second one's gonna be a half inch hole. And you wanna drill that just deep enough so that the threaded insert just bare, is, is flush with the end of your blank. So you'll wanna sneak up on that one. Um, and I also wanna mention that you don't need to tap threads into the 2364 hole for the threaded rod. Um, that that 2364 is just barely under, like, like thinner um, than the diameter of the actual threads themselves. And it doesn't require tapping. You can just, the, the, the threaded rod has an Allen key on one end and there's an Allen wrench. Um, you'll want to just use the Allen key and you'll just basically twist it in there. Um, it, it'll be a tight fit, but you don't need to tap threads. It'll basically tap itself. Now, the other thing that I want to warn you guys about, what I did was I had the blank chucked up uh, in the four jaw chuck and I drilled the two holes and then I fit my ferrule. But what I didn't do before I flipped it and mounted it onto the mandrel was match up the, the shoulder. And frankly, there's really no reason to use a mandrel. You can turn the entire blank, and I didn't think about it when I was doing this. You could turn the whole blank, part it off, and then you could use your mandrel and just, you know, clean up the end. So I just want to make sure you guys, you know, I was kind of, I just wasn't thinking when I was doing this. I don't do a lot of things that have ferrules on them. And what happened was when I flipped it, it just wasn't running exactly the same, you know, line, let's say. Uh, as it was in the four jaw chuck. It's just slightly off and, and one side is, is matched up to the ferrule and one side's a little bit kind of proud. So um, to avoid that, just keep it mounted in the chuck. Make sure you got a blank that's you know long enough that you've you got something to grab onto as well as you can part it off. Um, and just keep it in the four jaw chuck, turn the whole handle, then flip it if you want to clean up the end. That's, that's the only thing that you would need a mandrel for. So I just wanted to kind of share those little thoughts with you, make sure you understand what's going on with this kit. It's a really fun one. So let's get back to the video.
All right, guys, got it all finished up, and man, I am really excited about this kit. Uh, it was really fun to turn, but I, I'd been meaning to pick up a brass mallet for like, like years at this point. I just never found one that I liked, or uh, just never, you know, did it basically. And so I was really happy when Stainless Bottle Stopper said, "Hey, we're going to be coming out with some brass mallet kits." would you like to get in on the like pre-launch kind of feedback group? And I was like, yes, definitely send them. Uh, so I, I decided to go for the big one first. They're, they're coming out with two sizes, kind of a smaller one. I, I did the bigger one. Um, really, you know, well machined. They, all their stuff is, is well made, but uh, like a really nice piece of brass. Um, and the kit was really fun to turn. I mean, I, besides me making that one mistake, I don't really know what was going through my head when I flipped it and, and mounted it on the mandrel. But uh, even with that, it still turned out really awesome. And it's, uh, you know, like a handle blank is really, you can get all kind of creative with the shaping and all that stuff. I did a little bit of wire burning on this one. Uh, really awesome, fun kit to, to make. And, you know, brass mallets are very handy to have in the shop. So um, they're going to be coming out with these uh, Labor Day weekend. So I, I'm, I decided to shoot video um, while I was doing the kind of testing so I uh, the video was made before they they knew a date uh, uh, for the launch but it, at this point now that I'm wrapping it up um, they're going to be launching them Labor Day weekend I just I don't know if it, what day specifically it's going to be and I don't have a link um, directly to these yet because they're not actually listed on their website yet but I will be updating the link in the description of this video uh, once I have the link and just be kind of keep an eye on my social media I'll be you know mentioning when they when I know what day they're going to be launching these things. I'm pretty excited. Pretty, like I said, really fun kit. Um, you know, adding a little bit of, uh, you know, something different to a handle kit. Adding that ferrule uh, gives you some a couple extra little things to do. So hopefully my, my instructions on kind of the drilling and all that stuff were helpful. And hopefully my tip to, to, to just leave it as it is and get everything all, you know, shaped up. Um, before you flip it, uh, hopefully that'll save you from making the mistake that I did. Uh, but really cool thing to, to, to make and have uh, in your toolkit. So thank you to Stainless Bottle Stoppers for hooking me up with these guys, uh, adding me in as part of the, the, the kind of pre-launch group of people giving you feedback. I appreciate it. All right, so before we go, I want to give a big shout out to my newest top level patrons over on Patreon. There was actually so many. Uh, it's been a little bit, a uh, little while since I did a video uh, and did the shout outs, but there's been so much support. I, I really appreciate it. I had to actually write it down this time. I usually try to remember by, by memory. Uh, so we'll go through the list. So Jacob Jansen uh, upped his pledge. He was already at the top level and decided to go higher. So big thank you to all, the, all your awesome support, Jacob. Really appreciate it. We got Sherry Schuster Denny. Scott Weening, Sandy Zimmerman, Philip Danner, Gene Banger, Jerry Wagner also upped his pledge above the top level, as well as Paul Worsley. Uh, so big thank you to all the support over there. Thank you to all my patrons. Uh, if you'd like to help support the show through Patreon and get access to the monthly live Q&A and Hangout, uh, you can do so over at patreon.com slash envywoodworks. So I guess that's about it. I hope you guys give this new brass mallet kit a shot. And uh, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching this one and happy turning.